okay, what the f is this? Like, what is this? <laughs> like, do you this guys do this weekly? Um, <laughs> Is this going to be on the internet? I don't know. I just go where my publicist tells me to go, and I don't know where I'm at or what I'm doing. This week, the internet caught fire after a UK-based marketing agency, Yard, released their analysis of data collected by the Twitter account CelebJets, which tracks celebrity private jet flights, revealing the worst offenders behind the hundreds of climate-crushing jaunts, some as short as 14 minutes, that A-listers have been racking up this year. And you know how I feel about it. I'm jealous. I mean, enraged. Here to chat about it, it's the hilarious Lunell. Please join me over here. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Did you? Uh, are you following this uh, this private jet scandal? Is no. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but the celebrities, they're at it again. What are they doing? They're flying private on their jets, and sometimes the flights are really short. And they could have just taken a car. <laughs> they're saving 15 minutes from flying to Viennese to like fucking, they're barely flying across the map. And $30,000 a flight. At least, at least, at least, plus the, plus the climate, you know. So, so what's the problem? It's, <laughs> people don't like it. Haters don't like it. Yeah, haters, that's isn't, right, they isn't, hate it. Isn't that the goal? to get off of Southwest and get onto a jet. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, I look, all right, look, just between, obviously. I mean, <laughs> people aren't mad because they're flying on private jets. They're mad because they're not flying on private jets. But people also have a kind of problem with the climate pollution, you know? But you think it's probably just mostly because they're, you know, they're haters. Is it hard to talk to me while I have this hat on? It's a little distracting. I'm a little high. And... <laughs> I, I fly private. Must be nice. On other people's planes. Yeah, other people's planes. People, they lease these planes. I think Kylie Jenner does own her plane, though. And sometimes you can tell whose plane it is by the tail. They'll have the initials of the people on the tail. What else do you want to know? Would you personally have a private jet knowing how bad it would be for the environment? Yep. <laughs> it was fucked up when I got here. <laughs> what am I going to do? It was fucked up when I got here. And don't cut that. We're not. We're leaving that in. <laughs> you know, it's time for a game we're calling. Where we're going, we don't need roads because we're flying private to skip like an hour of traffic. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. According to data collected by Twitter's Celeb Jets, which tracks the aircraft of the rich and famous, which celebrity produces the most carbon dioxide private jet emissions? Mm. It's a musician. I mean, you're not going to give me a multiple choice? I'll give you one multiple choice. I'll do it right now. Ready? Okay. 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 Is it? <laughs> well, I, I, <laughs> I'm going to give you multiple choice. Is it Katy Perry, Justin Bieber, or Taylor Swift? Bieber. It's Taylor. Okay. So Taylor's not so crystal clean after all, is she? <laughs> Which celebrity couple sparked an internet backlash by posting an Instagram photo posing with his and hers private jets with the caption, you want to take mine or yours? I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, 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 it, one of them is a, is, is a Kardashian. Did I already say her name? Yeah. It was Kylie and Travis. You bet it was. You got it. You're doing great. Can I throw the next one down? Card, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll hand okay. it up one second. Of course. <laughs> nothing would nothing would please me more here. I don't know. I'll, I'll, when this one's done, I, I'm sorry. Of course okay. you should. You're a guest here. <laughs> Taylor Swift, the top offender in this year, so far accounts for how many times the annual emissions of a standard schmo? What? I don't know. 
I throw that fucking card down right now. Here, throw now. that one. Throw that one. That was a stupid question. <laughs> it's a thousand times. I need to do that over again. Nice. And it came back at you. It me. came back at you. The came fuck? back at you. What the fuck? Though we can't prove it. Who in our hearts and minds leaked the information that led to Taylor Swift being named the biggest private jet offender? Who snitched on her? Yeah. The fuck do I know? How the fuck do I know? <laughs> if you don't give me multiple choice. The correct answer is Chris Jenner. Here's a theory. Chris Jenner leaked it because oh, she knows that. Theory. This is just a theory. We're just making it up. Because here's the thing. It's not a real quiz. Uh, it's uh, it sort of is a real quiz. <laughs> it's not real answers. Because here's the thing: okay. if Taylor Swift hadn't been in the number one spot, they would have been coming for Kylie. You know, it would have been coming for yeah, Kylie. Yeah. But hasn't John Travolta been flying? A fucking whole 747 for like 40 years. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. He gets on a he he every once a week. Like, once a didn't week. Didn't Elvis have a plane before him? And James Brown. And, and and what about the people that died to make that song about the music stopping? They were on a private plane. The Big Bopper. What, La Bamba. Wow. You know you they went there. <laughs> But didn't they, that must, it wasn't a commercial flight. Okay, but she put a whole, like, black cloud over what was really fun. <laughs> you want to talk about dead motherfuckers with planes? God damn. I do think you're right. It does seem as though every once in a while there's a there's a kind of a news story that says John Travolta kissed a man on the cheek and then flew a 747 somewhere, you know? More importantly, is this your oh, beverage? You, this, uh, yeah, this one's my... Would you like a beverage? Can well, we, I've been here and ain't nobody offered me a motherfucking Nobody thing. offered Lunella a beverage? No, Look. they offered me some water. But this is clearly not... It's a Paloma. Can we fly out a beverage? So you want to bitch about private plane and you drinking some $7 motherfucking grapefruit and agave. This is very bougie. Do you live in West Hollywood? I've actually, I recently moved to the east side. Uh, so. Okay. Uh. It's coming, it's coming. Yeah. We have options for you. Can you open it for me? Yeah, we have a, which IPA, one? Modelo, and Marg. But we also have non alk Yeah, you. I'll take the margarita. Thank you. And Claire, we can't have these See, kind of fuck-ups again. Black, all right? Yeah, right. <laughs> black grandmothers used to have a saying that a closed mouth don't get fed. Meaning, if you don't speak up for what you want, you'll never get it. That goes from margaritas to anything in this town and in this business. Can we, can we toast to that? Can we toast to that? You just got, oh wait, I'm talking in the microphone. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, you that's just right. Cheers. You just wanted okay, to cheers, you okay. got so, you got so. COVID. I'm over it. Monkey pox. It's probably, I probably don't have monkey pox. You might. I, honestly, I'm more likely it to be fucking. It might be in its gestation. I'm more three, likely to be pregnant, I swear to God. Three, <laughs> takes three weeks to pop out on your face. Thanks. <laughs> Lunell, Drake recently faced backlash after his private jet logged a flight from Hamilton, Ontario to Toronto. Uh, how long was that flight? Was it... Okay, go. Was it uh, 14 minutes, 34 minutes, or 64 minutes? 34 minutes. It was 14 minutes. He took a 14-minute flight. Watch what you flight. say about Drake, though. He can do what the fuck he wants to do. <laughs> I'm trying to get at Drake. I'm trying to get at him. I will ride him for 14 minutes. How about that? How about that? How about them apples? What's up, Drake? Where's the camera? What's up, Drake? What's up, Drake? How long would that same ride have taken in a car? 
Uh, okay, wait a minute. It took 14 minutes? Okay, wait a minute. So it was an hour. It was four, no, it was an hour to go to Oakland, and that is 400 miles. Then uh, 200 miles, 30 minutes. It probably was uh, 100 miles. It, was, it would have taken one hour and 12 minutes. I think that's about right. I think that's about right. Drake tried to defend himself, claiming that he wasn't actually on the short flight. Was the plane A, delivering a donor kidney to a child in need, B, taking his son to preschool, or C, returning to the airplane garage where it lives, or D, performing an aerial search for Sasquatch? Well, <laughs> it was probably just going home to yeah, the garage. Yeah, it was just going, it was an empty plane going to the garage. Yeah, I won again. Oh, shit. Final question. What celebrity has the shortest average flight? Is it A, Travis Scott, B, Steven Spielberg, C, Oprah Winfrey, or D, Kelsey Grammer? Oh, Steven. It's Travis Scott. His average flight length was seven miles. He's taking really short flights. I think he just likes to fly. Well, he's so ugly, he should be on a private plane. I said it. I said it. Too ugly. To fly commercial. That's right. Put it on his tombstone. <laughs> what did Warren Buffett name the Berkshire Hathaway private jet? Is it A, the Glacier Melter, B, the Indefensible, C, Mr. Zoom Zoom, or D, the two degrees of Celsius warming over pre-industrial levels? Okay, I cry racism. Why don't you ask some questions that black people know? We don't know no fucking shit like this. I barely know who no. fucking Warren Buffett the fuck Nobody is. knows this. Okay, so I don't know. I quit. <laughs> Look how belligerent I got after half a margarita. <laughs> Maybe I better top this baby off. You won the game. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> you, you, you ask questions, whatever you want to do. I don't well, want to. If you don't want to ask to answer those questions, I, I don't want you to have to answer them. No, I I don't mind doing whatever. What my main question? Remember, I had a question. That's what I want to know. Okay, what the fuck is this? Like, what is this? <laughs> like, do you this guys do this weekly? Um, <laughs> is this gonna be on the internet? Until, I don't know. I just go where my publicist tells me to go, and I don't fucking know where I'm at, what I'm doing. <laughs> What this is, I just saw a witch backstage you got on a hat. It's fucking August. I don't get it. I don't understand. Typewriter, theater, what the fuck is going on? I don't understand what I'm doing, actually. That was a few questions, actually. Okay. Um, so, first of all... Uh, I'm glad to be here, by the way. Because I... Thank you for I, you asking. Know, I do stand up, so I love a I love a live audience. We love them. Started in theater, community theater, just like this. So this is like this feels like I feel like I'm doing inside the actors the theater. No. When you get to heaven, what what do you want uh, Saint Peter to say? I wouldn't put my money on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so this I came up through the seventies. I don't know if heaven. I don't know. We don't know. Uh, well, thank you for being here. Let me, let me, so this happens from time to time. You're not the first guest to not understand where they are or why they're here or what this where is. Where is this going? It actually, is this, is it's gonna, cameras over there? There's some cameras, but it's, where is it's this going to air it, at? It's, it's a podcast. Oh. So it's, it's a podcast. We also put clips on YouTube and social media. Okay, you guys going to tag me? Yeah, we'll tag you for sure. We'd love to tag you. We're huge. We definitely. I need a good tagging too. We all do. <laughs> As evidenced by my lack of monkeypox risk. Corona shut my whole sex life down. And now the monkeypox, shit, I don't know what to do. Everything I do got a glove on it. You know the gas, you know the gas pump is nasty AF. Yeah. I mean, I, I have a Tesla. <laughs> so I don't get, I don't get gas. I just see the prices go up, but it doesn't oh, affect me. Your emissions and shit. No, I just. Is that I, what you're trying to fly since you don't have no emissions? I just don't. Well, I got a Mercedes Benz and a Lexus and a Subaru Forester, <laughs> and they all run on premium gas, and I worked hard for it, and I don't give a fuck. So. Well, back back to your question. I, I don't want to be rude. I want to answer your question. So, 
This is a, a, it's kind of a weekly podcast. We do this show every Thursday night and then it comes out on Saturday mornings and um, it's actually surprisingly popular. Uh, This is like some really cool, like underground shit. uh, I don't know. Did somebody ask for me or how did I get here? (laughs) Well, uh-huh. that that's a great question as well. Uh, so uh, we work with a, a this booking agent. Really good, by it's, the way. It What's is the actually, and it's 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 it is good. If you slam it like I did, it works really. Yeah, well. it's it's you know they're Sabe. it's shaped like a can, but it's really as strong as wine. <laughs> so I assume what happened is um. Where it just who, happened? Who got me, Kendra. Kendra, she wanted hey, you to Kendra? come. Kendra. Kendra wanted me. You thought I would be well suited for this? You were, Kendra you were grew right. up with you. She's a huge fan of yours. She's she's awesome. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to know about what's happening? Just like, is there any pay? I think like I think like a yeah, but nothing nothing obviously nothing that will matter to you. <laughs> yeah, but I want it. You'll get it. We'll get it. We got it. We still pay guests, right? Yeah, we pay gas. We pay gas. We're we're a serious operation. Cash, please. I like that dirty, nasty cash. Can somebody send Claire, the intern, to an ATM? <laughs> Linnell wants cash. She gets cash. <laughs> okay, I have one more question. Mm-hmm. So, like, can I come back? Of course you can come back. This has been an absolute delight. Linnell, you've won the game. Incredible. Thank you so much for being here. What a delight. Such a fan of yours. Thank you so much. Lunell, everybody. That was so much fun. Kendra.